Satchel famously had names for his pitches, so he didn't have fastball, curveball, changeup. No, not Satchel. Satchel had what he called his midnight creeper. He had the two humper. He had the bat dodger. He had the hesitation pitch. He had the long tom, the short tom, the jump ball, the trouble ball, the radio ball, the wobbly ball, the dipsy do. And he also had a pitch that he famously called his bee ball. You know why he called it the bee ball? Because Satchel says, it bees where I want it to be when I want it to be there. And so he had all the stuff you needed to be a star. And he was just that. He was not only the Negro League's biggest and brightest star, but he was one of the biggest stars in baseball history. Now the third baseman, Hayes. And a pitch. That's a strike, and that's how this game gets started. Next offering is foul back. The 0-2 pitch from Satchel. And Satchel with the B-ball for the strikeout. And now here is Glass. Foul ball. ball. Chris, it must have been so difficult hitting Satchel with so many different out pitches. Swings here and blasts one left field. Sanders ranging back, feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Smith in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Yeah, a pitcher with two or three out pitches is an ace these days. Satchel had closer to a dozen. Dig in against someone like that, you're just guessing every pitch, especially with his amazing command. Next offering is foul back. Cy Perkins caught Satchel for a lot of seasons, and for a while, he wouldn't even give signs. He'd just hold up the mitt, and Satchel would hit it. And now the count is even. Swing, and he breaks his back. Third out, and that ends the frame. Big power threat. Bates. Page back to work. Swing and a miss. And one. As he was out front that time. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. So many great nicknames in baseball history. The Iron Horse, the Say Hey Kid, the Splendid Splinter, and of course, Satchel. That one ripped left field. Sanders raging back towards the wall. Makes the catch up against the wall. The way Satchel got his nickname is great. As a kid, he was trying to earn some extra money at the Mobile train station by lugging around bags for travelers. Of course, the bags were so big, most kids could only take one at a time. So Satchel threw together some rope and a pole for a rig that let him haul four bags at once. And that is in for a strike. And that is strike two. He 
in the dirt on to O'Neal. And that quickly, two away. Now it's going to be McDonald. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Carrying around all those bags, the other kid said he looked like a walking satchel tree, and the name stuck. Next pitch is outside. That hits the dirt. Yeah, that's ball two. Next offering is fouled back. Satchel into his motion. The long windup turns on the rubber, kicks and fires. Got him. Page with the pinpoint command on that one.